What's going on, YouTube? United Gamer here, and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, guys, we took on the very first shrine with these, but, I mean, obviously it's the first shrine of the game, so, you know, not too much surprise there. In this episode, guys, maybe, just maybe, we will get the paraglider that we were promised, which we have to take on three more shrines, so I don't really know if we're going to be able to do that all in one episode, but we'll see. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far, and if you are, be sure to smack that like button. Now, I asked a comic question in the last episode, and that was just simply, would you guys like to see me do this blind, or would you guys actually like me to look stuff up and not get lost every two minutes? It was actually not even close. Everyone wanted me to do this blind, so, I mean, you guys have your wish. I'm gonna be doing this blind, but I warn you, and I apologize in the future, if I get lost, like, so much. If I get, it gets too bad, guys, I'm gonna cut it, do not worry. Um, but... That being said, I am going to do this game blind, but I have actually already played up to the second shrine. That's not really that much longer, and that's like five more minutes maybe. And after that, it will be completely blind. But uh, that being said, too, uh, we have to go up to these snowy mountains that I know of later on by looking into the strategy guide. And I do know how to get a piece of armor that allows cool resistance, because if you don't have that... Well, the cold does not go very well with Link, and you start losing your health. So, it's really good to stay warm. You can do that by making certain, like, dishes. You can get spicy peppers. Or you can get this armor piece, which I'm going to show you how to do. Um, so, one thing you can do is, normally in here, there are these Hyrule Bass, and you need that as one of the ingredients to get this armor. Because what you're going to be doing is exchanging a recipe of a dish for a piece of armor. And, uh, yeah, they're not there. So, <laughs> there's another pond I'll show you in a second. But another thing you need to do is come over here to these woods, and you need to get some raw meat from a wild boar. Now, these guys will immediately run from you. So the best way to do it is come over here to this campfire and pick up the Traveler's Bow, as well as some arrows. At least that's what I've noticed. The only thing that's kind of annoying for me is from the bow, as of right now, uh, I need to learn how to like disable something, because they're like in the motion controls of the controller. It wants to turn with my controller and not my analog stick. Or does it... Two at the same time, and it's kind of annoying. You'll, you'll see what I'm saying in just a second. Uh, but there should be a boar around here somewhere. But come over here to this campfire. The old man might be here, resting up, and uh, grab some arrows. Now, I do already have a traveler's bow. The only reason for that is because after my last recording, guys, I didn't save. And I had to play up to the same part again. And it might not be the exact same. Like, I think I had more weapons in. I actually think I hear a boar. Let's see. I think I saw one, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and crouch up. Makes it easier to sneak up on him. I'll try to get as close as I can before he runs because you'll see what I'm talking about with the bow and arrows. Oh, whoa, no, I killed... Wow, it does... Okay. You hit an enemy's head, you get a crit. I did not even mean to do that, but we got a critical hit. You only need one piece of raw meat, but I recommend making two of these dishes because they're, it's going to be useful later on and it heals a lot of your health. Um, and we might as well go ahead and try to kill... Nope, wrong button. Other analog stick, Dylan. There we go. All right, let's sneak up on our prey. Let's aim for the head because I didn't even think about that. All right, hold on. You see how I'm turning right now? That's with my. That's not with my analog stick. That's just me moving my controller, and it's really frustrating. There we go. Okay, so now we got some extra raw meat. You know, we got to make sure we get them critical hits, and so we got to get some bass. Now, I'm sure there's multiple ponds where you can get these things, uh, but the only one I really know of else. Actually, hold on. There's a campfire over here. I don't like it being nighttime, so we're going to go ahead and lay at it and get it to daytime. So I'll see you guys in just a second. So we're back at that original pond that I was talking about after laying at a campfire. And these are the things I was talking about. So what you want to do is you just want to dash at them, try to corner them, dash, and grab one. There we go. We got a high roll bass. I rec like I said, I recommend getting two just like the raw meat. See if we can get another one real quick. And be sure not to run out of stamina because you do drown. And there we go. Awesome. So now that we got these two things, the last thing we need is a spicy pepper, and that is right by where we're going to go. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is teleport over, or teleport, fast travel up to the Great Plateau Tower, and uh, we're going to have to see what other shrines we have to go to. Okay, so now once we're up here, we're going to have to talk to the old man, and he's going to tell us about how we're going to go to these other shrines. Well, you certainly took your time. Did you forget how to fast travel? That's not what he said, but okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, now then. I wanted you to join up me up here so you could use this vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know about the scope on your Sheikah Slate? 
look through it, and you can stick a pin anywhere you want and mark on the map. That being said, guys, you can only do a certain amount at a time, but that is really awesome in this game. The pins on your map serve as reference points for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm sorry. Been watching too much of The Office, you know? Well, if you've never seen The Office, then you're missing out. So all you gotta do is you right click and you can move around with stuff and yeah, place the pin. So that's the second shrine that I've already done. And then I think the other one, there we go, it's up here. Boom, and then the last one is way up in the snowy mountains. So, boom. There we go. So those are the three shrines we have to go to and we're gonna go ahead and head there. And since we don't have a paraglider quite yet, <sighs> we gotta go climb down this whole thing like this, which Man, that's going to be awesome when we have something. Maybe like when we have a horse and we can ride a lot faster because there's just something about the stamina in this game. It runs out in two seconds and it's so annoying. Okay, so the first pin we need to go to is this second one. Now the item we're going to get here, is, or the rune we're going to get here, is really awesome. And I hope that we can kind of get a rune from like every single shrine we visit in the game because there are a ton of of shrines in this game like just flipping through the strategy guide when I got it there are so many in this game but that is awesome it's everything I would want from a Zelda game sorry I just bumped my mic uh, but I'm, I'm loving this game so far I actually tried to do a recording earlier and I even posted this on my snapchat if you don't follow me on snapchat make sure you do it's at United Gamer 101 but uh, I recorded an episode of this which is what I've already seen so far and then I noticed in the middle of it what is this I already know what it is because of my failed recording. That's so it was disappointing. But <laughs> these things are terrifying. Don't run into them because they kill you in one hit. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, okay. We're safe. Climb up here and go into our next shrine. Uh, but yeah, so I tried to do a recording and then my mic sounded pure robotic the entire time. I swear to god, if it happens again, I I, I quit. Now, like I said in the first episode, I am gonna be skipping these little cutscenes, because they are repetitive and no one really needs to see that. Uh, but let's go ahead and head into our second shrine. So welcome to the bomb trial. You know, it can't be a Zelda game without some bombs. It can't. You gotta have some explosives. Uh, but this is really awesome. I love this thing in this game. This trial itself is just really cool. And uh, this is an amazing, a really helpful rune. I mean, so far I haven't really noticed the, the Magnesis to be really that useful. But uh, the bombs here are so useful. You don't even honestly need a weapon. It does enough damage. Like when I got the raw meat the first playthrough I ever did... I just threw bombs at them and blew them up. Like, I didn't use an arrow. It's so easy, and they replenish, like, infinitely, so that's awesome. But it's pretty simple. You can either drop it or throw it, and then you blow it up with the same button, which you triggered it. You can change your runes, like, not like this. Like this. You can trade your, uh, change it from the Nagasus to a remote bomb. Uh, but just press L, press R, and then bam. Now, be careful, because if you're like me, sometimes you'll press, like... We'll see. I'll show you what I'm saying. Sometimes you'll press like L and accidentally like drop it and you're just like, oh crap, I want to get another one. And you'll press L. Well, be careful because it blows it up and you die in one hit. So come over here and we're going to have a much, much better weapon. We got the Traveler's Claymore. Okay, so we need to switch this immediately. Now this is, after this trial, like I said, it's the last, you know, time of what I'm really going to know what I'm doing. So it isn't always going to go this smoothly, but hopefully it'll be alright. At least for this episode. Let's see if I can chunk this nope I did not all right so let's just go land on this maybe it'll regen by then hurry 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 there we go okay okay all right I thought we were gonna make it I'm super impatient okay so this part is just really cool to me I, I know it's just it's simple but it's just it's cool all right let me let, let it be cool Drop it over, toss it over, and BAM! Now what's really funny to me is, um, oh, hold on. Oh, there's a chest! There's a chest! A treasure chest. I just combined the two words. I didn't even get this on my first playthrough. Does this thing, like, launch you over? <laughs> yes! That is awesome! What is this? I didn't get this the first time. An amber, a fossilized resin with a caramelisque? 
Oh, God. I, I butchered that. Sheen to it. It has been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Hmm. Maybe it can be used to craft some weapons. What is this little ball thing? Is that useful for me at all? Can I climb this? Can I not climb it? So apparently you can climb cliffs, but you can't climb a simple wall. That makes no sense. And like this, this was what I was about to say before I get interrupted by myself seeing a treasure chest. Um, this thing right here really doesn't make sense to me how you can't climb this. Like, he, he should almost be able to jump off that and get it so easily, but alright. I get it, I get it. It just wants you to use the bombs. Alright, but that's, that's the second trial. Let's go ahead and examine this and get our next spirit orb. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Yay! Only two more to go. <laughs> May the goddess smile upon you. Alright, and just like that, we have completed our next trial. So, now it's time to go ahead and get that armor piece. We don't gotta go to the snowy mountains just yet, I don't think. But, um, alright, why are you not climbing this? Okay. Oh, I'm hitting let go, that's why. God, I'm stupid. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get it, since we have all the ingredients we need. And I think it's actually over there by our next shrine. But, the, it's not the snowy mountain ones, but it's over here. That one on that mountain top. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna come over here. You need to already have that raw meat in the Hyrule Bass. And then you're gonna come over here and get some spicy pepper. And then the old man that we've been talking to that is not giving us our paraglider has a favorite dish that he can't remember his ingredients to and that's what our job is, is to recall those ingredients. It's not hard to do it. All it is is there's a little journal on his table and it tells you what the ingredients were kind of. Or it gives you like a, an idea of what it is. It's just I didn't really want to have to come over here, you know, fast travel back, go get everything and then come back here. So, you know, if you're following along in this Let's Play walkthrough, you know, I just saved you some time, so you can thank me later. Okay, so, let's see here. Where's the spicy pepper? Oh, yeah, okay, never mind, Mom. It's actually inside here, inside the little cabin. Now, these, like, there's all these stamina mushrooms over here, and I think they help you replenish your stamina or something. A green mushroom that grows near trees in the forest. It's clock full of natural energy. Cook it to release and stamina restoration properties. So, I don't really, I've never done that before, so I don't know if that means, like, it slows down your stamina regen, or it rebuilds it up faster. I don't, I'm not sure, but we're going to have to climb that mountain, I think. So this could be helpful. So I might want to cook me some of that, too. So, hold on. Hey, we got a pot lid. That's a shield. That's so awesome. We got a little shield and it's a pot lid. Okay. But now it's time for cooking the ingredients. What you're going to need to do is first come, off, come in here and grab the spicy pepper that you're going to need. Go ahead and grab the two. Might as well grab that. We got a baked apple. That's always good, too. That, we've actually got one of those before. I just didn't get it in my second run through. But uh, what you're going to do, go to your inventory. Make sure you do this right, because I did not do this right my first time doing it. You want to hold this. You need to hold all three at one time, though. Don't do it individually. So just hold, hit hold, and then go and click on the bass as well as the pepper. Hold all three, and then go near the little thing right here, the little pot, and cook it. Booyah. Oh, yes. Chef Boy R. Zelda. Actually, Link, sorry. <laughs> I know someone's going to get pissed about that. I was just thinking of the game. Okay, so now that we got this, we have the recipe in our inventory, and we can go talk to the old man. Huh, oh, fancy that. We meet again. What are you doing? This buddy of mine isn't what it used to be. Recovering is from about hard work takes a while. If you're hungry, you have an empty pot here, you can use it to cook yourself. Well, you know, I cooked you something. Here, have your ingredients. Give me my freaking armor piece. And let me go on my way. Since you're not going to give me my paraclider, I'm a little bit butthurt against you there, old man. Oh, yes. Thank you. You give me a warm doublet. A warm pullover, typically worn by a mountain folk. It's sturdy fabric and thick gloves are great at retaining body heat. So that's, that's pretty fantastic for us, if you do say. So let's go ahead and equip that. It even looks better, so fancy that. 
All right, so now it's time to cross over here, and we're almost at the end of where I've played to, guys. Oh, no. Prepare yourselves, guys. Let's hope I can do this third try with ease. Actually, nah, I don't think it'll be too bad. I don't think any of these... Honestly, I feel like this whole thing... Oh, God, did I... I didn't angle that right at all. That was... That was stupid. Um, I really bet, like, all these are almost like tutorials, almost. You know, it's just, like, trying to teach you the game, show you what it's going to be like, and then it just drops you off, and it's going to be a lot harder. But if I've learned anything from Nintendo is... Hold on. Why is... Why am I not using the Claymore? I just now realized that. Claymore's so much better. Um, <laughs> we just threw him off the mountain. Uh, acorn. Okay, that's it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm so sorry. We need to cook um, those stamina mushrooms because we got to climb this mountain, I think. So, uh, but, you know, let me get to what I was trying to say. Uh, if I've learned anything from Nintendo is... They are really big with making things easier nowadays. Like, comparing them to the old games, it just gets easier, like, as time goes on. So, this game, for all I know, could be pretty easy. Let's... Nope, wrong button. Let's see if we can cook the uh, stamina mushroom. No, hold. Can I... Oh, we'll just hold all three. Yeah, we'll cook it. There we go. All right, we'll just skip it and see what we can get. Energizing Mushroom Skewer. Instantly refill some of your stamina wheel. This simple mushroom packed skewer has its colorful presentation to thank, or thank for its appeal. Okay. So it just, re like, if I get down low, I think I can eat one and it, uh, like, immediately replenishes it. My question is, though, if I'm climbing something or swimming or whatever, can I eat while I'm climbing and swimming? Or, like, I don't know. If I don't, like, I, if I can't, I don't really see the really big use of it because it's not that helpful. Alright, but uh, let's come over here, and I think there's some arrows around here or something like that. And then after that, this is the last thing I did on my my first playthrough, so I will be completely blind with you guys. We get some fire arrows in here or something. I've never used them before. I imagine it just you just shoot it and fire, you know, fire arrow. Maybe set fire to stuff. <laughs> Should be self, you know, explanatory, but... It's time to climb this thing, because if you can look on our map right here, this blue pin is right in front of us, so... God, I hope I don't fall, because if I do, like, this is going to be really bad. Is it better to dash, or is it better to climb slow? Well, we got it. I kind of want to try that replenishing uh, mushroom, so let's do this real quick. And let's, let's see if I can eat it while I'm up in the air. Oh, wait. It only made one? I thought it made me three. Oh, I don't want to waste it then. Oh, God. I hope I make it. What is this mushroom thing? Rushroom. A mushroom that can grow almost anywhere but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase movement speed. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. It may be, be potential for a future boss. Oh, that's a great... That's going to be a thumbnail. All right, so... Can we go at an angle? Oh, we can go at an angle. Okay. There we go. That one was easy. Okay, guys. So far, so good. We're not we're not dying yet. Let's see. It's, like a, it's still to the right. Uh-oh. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> no! I thought I made it! That is... That's... No! I made that jump! He had it! He grabbed it! God, no. That's false advertisement, Nintendo. I grabbed it. All right, well, we're on the ledge of where I fell off, so I think it's just... Oh, nope, I was about to say, I think it's just straight up from here, but it's not. we got to go over to the right. And one more. Oh, I, thought, I was about to say, if I fail down from that, I'm going to be really mad. Okay, so I think maybe it's just straight up from here. So maybe we can just jump up here. I don't know if I should dash or not. What's that question, Mark? Oh, it's one of those guys. The Awa Dame Shrine. Okay, so here is the first shrine that we're going to experience together blind. That's where we... We can use his arm as a weapon! That is awesome! Okay, I'm just going to throw this off the cliff. <laughs> we just kicked it! <laughs> Yeet! Alright, goodbye. Alright, so let's go ahead and head in this shrine. Actually, hold on. What's this? Can I blow this up or something? 
Okay, no, but I moved it. Maybe I can... Oh, maybe I can push it. Okay, apparently not. Maybe I can get something inside this shrine, and I mean, that makes sense. Maybe we should go in here, and maybe I'll have something I can use to get that. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to go ahead and skip this, guys, and I will see you in the shrine. Status trial. Okay. Well, by the platform. Cut. Status trial. Okay. Well, by the platforming in the background, it looks like we're almost going to freeze time or something. Kind of like uh, Jack and Dax, or actually like Jack 3. I mean, if you don't know what that is, then I don't even know what to say. You should know what Jack and Dax is. If you don't, take the time to go play those games. They have a collection pack for PS3. It's, it's an amazing game. Um, but that's what it looks like, where you freeze the time so you can jump on the pedestals and stuff and make it across places and whatnot. I don't know, we'll see. The status. Stop the flow of time for an object. Okay, I was right. Stop the objects of time while storing its kinetic energy. The stored energy will act upon the object when the flow of time resumes. Making good use of stored energy can move even the largest of objects. I really don't know what that means. I guess, like, after you freeze it, you can move it? I don't know. We'll see. Well, you know, I'm right, but... Okay, that was a terrible place to time it, so... I guess we just gotta waste some time let it come again. I don't really know what it means by moving it, though. That's... That's what I don't get. And... I gotta hurry and regen. I hope there's, like, some way you can, like, speed this up. And... Boom. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, so now this boulder thing. Now, do we freeze this, or can I just run by it? I think I can just run by it. Let me just... I mean, I don't want to wait for it to regen anyway. All right. Oh, God, my stamina. Oh, yeah, we got it easily. Okay. So, I, there's a treasure chest up there, though, and I think I need to freeze it in order to get that, though. That would be my best guess. Okay, so let's hurry up and get up here. Let's see, I wonder what this is. Maybe a piece of armor? Maybe a better shield than a pot slid? <laughs> oh, it is a traveler shield! Awesome! Alright, anything's better than a pot slid. I have a feeling that pot slid would not do us justice and it wouldn't really do too well in a fight, so. Alright, maybe that's the only. Hold on! Is that a sledgehammer? Iron sledgehammer! A large iron sledgehammer was originally used for mining, but it works reasonably well as a weapon, too! That is awesome! <laughs> Wait, did it say it was two-handed? I figure it is. Let's see. Oh, this is so freaking cool. I feel like I'm playing Monster Hunter. Okay. Okay, how the heck? Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, sorry. My heart kind of just stopped. I thought I fell off the edge. All right, so how do we, how does stopping time help us move this? That does nothing. Can we move it? Hit, what is it? What does this mean, hit? Oh, there's an arrow forming. Hold on. What is this doing? Yo, what the heck? That is awesome. Oh, my God. I'm going to have so much fun with this thing. This is my favorite rune so far. I mean, I've only had two, so. But this is awesome. Hold on. I'm sorry. I got to do it one more time. Let's just sit here and watch this. <laughs> no. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but that is awesome. Okay. So, let's go ahead and examine this. I don't think there's any more treasure chests anyway. We got a shield. We got a nice sledgehammer, which we didn't even equip the shield, so. Uh, but let's go ahead and leave this place. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb.
Three down, one more to go. May the goddess smile upon you. All right, so now, you know, it's been a long video, but we have one more shrine we're going to take care of. I feel like we should just go ahead and do them all in this video. But first off, hold on. I mean, can I, can I use his head? Can I stop time on his head? Oh, no. I think, oh, crap. He's picked it back up. Hold on. Can I really, can I stop time and, I can't. It's not letting me, but it's glowing. Why wouldn't it let me? Oh, well, I'm just going to, I didn't even mean to pick that up, and apparently it sucks. Dang it. All right, let's just yeet this off the edge. Okay, hold on. Do I have to hit his body now? Oh, I guess I can't live without his head. That makes sense. Okay, so, all right. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have fun with this. This is just this is awesome. I can't even see the next room being better than this. I'm so easily pleased. Let's just watch it. Yes. <laughs> I could waste time doing that. All right, what kind of stuff are we getting? A Traveler's Bow. Awesome. I already have three of those. That was really kind of useless. Alright, so now the question is, what is the best way to get over here or the fastest way? Because, you know, we don't really have any kind of, like, ride to get over there. We don't have a paraglider, obviously, since the old man doesn't want to toss his up. We're going to have to chase all this crap down. So I guess we just need to go around here. There's no really other way to it. And... I think the piece of arming, the piece of armor that we have, will be okay as we enter this place because, you know, it said it has cool resistance or whatever. But if not, we have that that fry, the seafood fry that'll also give us three minutes of warmth. Oh, we're okay. We're not losing health. I think it's just that that Fahrenheit bar you see in that top right, right there by Link. I think that's what it's, you know, basing it on. If it goes in that cool area, you're too cold, and I'm guessing the orange area you're too hot. So let me just head down. I wish you could slide down like Dark Souls, but... Oh, God, oh, God, oh! Okay. <laughs> all right. We're all right. But, you know, talking about how you can just... I mean, if you play the game, but if you just slide down the hill, or at least, like, jump down at least. Um, let's see. Oh, there's some boulders up top, though. You see those boulders? Maybe we could drop those on them or something. Or... Oh, crap, crap! I did not mean to do that. Can we shoot? All right, that didn't do it. Oh, when in doubt, we need to set a bomb. Nope, wrong, wrong ruin. Okay. Wrong ruin. All right, go to this rune. Let's just chuck a bomb. That's what I'm saying. It's all you need is a bomb. You don't even need weapons. Look at that. No, oh, frick. I blew up the treasure chest, though. Do I, get, do I get the items in it? Oh, crap. I'm hurt. I guess this was the items in it, which it's okay. I needed arrows. A bokoblin fang. Okay. I mean, I needed arrows anyway, so if that's all it was, that's fine. Um, let's just uh, eat something. I don't want to be super hurt. Alright, I don't need to fully heal. Close enough. I kinda, okay, no crappy bow still. A Bokoblin Horn. I'm guessing all these kind of items are used to like craft things. Maybe when we go to some kind of village or something, we can go to a market or whatnot. I don't know. It's got to be useful for something. I wonder how long this journey really is going to take. Maybe there's some good items up here, though. Let's see, what else can we use? Maybe another weapon, because I don't know how long the sledgehammer is going to last. Like, I imagine the sledgehammer and the claymore will both itself last long, like the durability. But if it doesn't, I really don't know how to, I don't know how to restore weapon durability yet. Like, there's no, not like, like, I don't know what to do. Oh, this guy looks like a more, like, formidable, formidable foe. Like, he's taking some hits. Well, that was still really easy, though. Maybe he was guarding something. A spiked Boko shield. That is a lot better. Well, we just got the other shield, but that's that's fine. I'll I'll take that. All right, that's that's a lot better. And some more amber. Okay, so you never know. That could be useful later on. So the shrine is not all the way at the top of the hill. It's somewhere over here. So maybe we go this way. We don't really need to go to the top of the snowy mountain, although it looks tempting to go up there. But I don't think we need to go to Mount Hylia yet. I think we should just... Yeah, we should just go around it over here. And we'll head over there. Alright, so like I said, like, it'd be nice if we had a horse that you could have. You know, you always have a horse in The Legend of Zelda. Or like a boar. A boar. That would be awesome to have a, 
a bull or a fox in this game because there's foxes according to the strategy guide. Like you could ride one of those over there. That would be really cool. I mean, there's a whistle right there. You see. All right, let's see. That's actually not as far as I thought it was gonna be. But that's so tempting to go up there. There's even a boulder right there. So I don't know what that does. <sighs> just just a nice long journey in the snowy mountains. You know, a giant lake down there that we probably can't even go swim in. Just this whole area is so cool, though. Like, it, it's so big. I don't imagine, like, this shrine being hard at all. But I imagine, like, after these, I feel like this whole thing is, like, the prologue. Like, all first three shrines are the prologue. And then after that, it's probably going to get a lot more difficult. Because if you've noticed so far in these shrines, and I, I imagine this one's going to be kind of the same, is they you only use the rune that you get in that shrine. So, like, the last one, we only used the stasis or whatever it was called. So, like, I imagine in the future, you're going to have to use the bomb, the stasis, and, you know, all of these up there. So, that, that would be my best guess. And, oh, God, that was close. <laughs> Uh, we just need a bomb. That's all we need. All you gotta do is you just gotta have a bomb. Oh, I didn't kill it, though. Well, we did it for the most part. No, our sledgehammer's already badly damaged. We just got it. See, that's my point. Like, I don't know how to sharpen the weapon or, like, bring it. Oh, God, I don't want to break it. Hold on. I gotta switch weapons. I don't even care, but I don't... Oh, come on. Wait, you gotta swing faster than that. Like, now if my claymore gets badly damaged, I don't want it to break. Let's just pick up this club. So, hold on. Can we get this piece of meat? I expected it to give me more health than that, but I'll take it. That thing was giant. How does it not give me more than, like, a heart and a half? Well, it's finally time to come up here and go to our last ride. Oh, there's a chest. Can I can I swim here? It. I don't know why they just put a chest here. Oh, nope. No, I can't. Maybe this shrine has something to do with that. Maybe it's kind of like, you know... The K Namut Shrine. Maybe it's something like you can swim underwater because apparently, if if you can, I don't know how to do that yet. Or maybe it's something like give you extra warmth. I don't, I don't know. Something like that. Who knows? Well, let's go ahead and head into the shrine. Welcome to the Cryonis trial. Okay. Well, I already see water in the background right there, so maybe it has... Well, that's not deep water, so it's definitely not swim underwater. But maybe something to do with warmth in the water. Only time will tell. And the winner is Cryonis. Create a pillar of ice from a water surface. That's awesome. Building ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars can be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Use Cryonis as an ice pillar to break it. Well, that is really freaking cool. I'm not going to lie. That's awesome. So we can, like, make our own little boxes to get up here. Is there any treasure chest? No? Okay. I don't... Did I just hit A? That is so cool! Can I push this, though? Because I don't think I can make this jump. No. And I can't... Okay. I don't think I can push it. Maybe I gotta build another one. There we go. Okay. Can you make infinite amount? Or can you only make a certain amount and then, like... You know, it destroys it. I don't... I don't know, but... Any treasure chest? Nothing. Okay. Well, how do I get over this? That's not going to be big enough. Oh, I didn't mean to hit it. Dang it. I didn't even mean to do that. Okay. I really didn't. Okay, so you can put stuff under it as long as there's water under it and you can lift it up. I didn't even. I wasn't even trying to do that. Wow, that claymore does so much more damage than when we last killed one of those things. What's ancient screw? Oh, I already got one of those in the last time we played, but like I said, it didn't save my progress, so... All right, this looks promising. This looks like there's probably something up there. Oh, yep, treasure chest. I don't get how you can't climb a wall, but you can climb a pillar of ice. Climb up, Link. What do we got? 
What do we? What else could we have? Maybe an armor piece. Why give me a traveler spear that does three damage when I already have it? That makes no sense. Why would you even do that? Why could it not give me something useful? Oh, that's where we started. Never mind. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, we gotta put something under it. Okay. Do you put one on? No, okay. You just might make a little. All right. Awesome. All right. I was about to say you need to put one on both sides, but nope. And the question is, I bet, I was about to say we're almost done. See, like, these are really short. It, it's got to get longer later on. There's no way that they're going to be all this easy and short. I don't think we missed any of the treasure chest. So let's go ahead and examine this and get our third orb. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. And we got the last spirit orb. Looking good. May the Goddess smile upon you. Alright, so now we gotta go find that old man, but I hear his voice and he's gonna come randomly out of the sky! <laughs> I love that! He disappears! Oh, with this, you are now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on the plateau! <laughs> Extraordinary! That means it is finally time! Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines at the endpoints. Find the spot where the Lowe's lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. First, give me my paraglider, old man. I don't care. Yes, I understand, but I want my paraglider. Man, he never lives up to his promises, that's for sure. All right, so let's get this little treasure chest thing first. All right. That was... Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, we got to be careful. Gotta make sure it's kind of close. Just can't fall in the water. We'll die. I don't know when the last auto save was either, so we can't die. <laughs> Alright, so I wonder what this is gonna be. It's gotta be something good. No, no, no! No, 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 no! Okay. We didn't fall in, so that's okay. We can get it right on this. And we got an opal. Oh, that looks nice and shiny. So I guess that's probably going to be useful later on. That, that's awesome. And... No! No, no, no! Climb, 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 climb! You're killing me, Link. You're killing me. Oh, please have a good save point. Oh, never mind. We do have the opal. So I don't have to do it again. Awesome. Okay. So we got to find where all four of these meet. Let's see. If So if this was going to this... And this was going to this. It looks... It, it's the Temple of Time, probably. It's got to be right there. That's 100% where it's going to be. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so that's where we need to go. The quickest way to do that... Will probably... Be... This shrine. Let's go ahead and travel there. Okay, so let's go ahead and head over to the Temple of uh, Time. At least that's what I think he said what it was. Uh, we're looking straight at it, so let's just go ahead and run there. Um, Alright, so I'm really curious on who this man is. That Oh my god. That being said, guys, I am no expert by any means on Zelda lore. I'm probably one of the furthest from it. like, Because I played him as a kid, you know? Like, I didn't really know the story... I never really paid attention, and there's so many 
that I just never took the time to learn everything about it. You know, I got the basics, but that's one thing I really want to learn more about. And there's so many Zelda games, like, I want to, you know, look up the timeline, which I have done that before, and then, like, oh, God. Okay. Got a little scary there. But then I want to actually, like, play them in order of, like, not made, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, like, uh... Oh, crap. Play them in order of, like, what the timeline of the story is, if that makes sense. So. But, uh, we're almost here, and I, at least I think it's where the old man's talking about. It has to be. It's a nice landmark. There's something sparkly in there. And, oh, yes. It is a temple of time. Okay. That's what I thought. I'm really curious on what this game is supposed to come after. I've looked it up before, but... Oh, we can pray? You know, I gotta go with Stamina Vessel. Yes. Heck yeah! That's what I was complaining about. Oh, that's all it does? <laughs> that's all it does. <laughs> hey, I was right though. That's where we needed to go. Look at Link, he has, he has my, oh, what the heck? The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Get up here quickly. Okay, sir. I, I'll do so. You know, I'll just hop on up there. Okay, that really does not help that much of a stamina. I, I expected like a whole nother circle. Not just that, what is this? Surge. Ancient gear, okay. I guess that goes with the ancient screws that we have. All right, what's the quickest way up here, though? Like, I'm gonna fall. Let's see, maybe do it this way. This seems like the best way. Nope, Link, let go. Climb up, right? Okay. And... And are we gonna make it? Yeah, we're gonna make this. Hey, it helps out that I had the extra stamina wheel for once, you know? So, already paying off. Where are you at? Okay. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was... The last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <laughs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant 
beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The Princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the Champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That night was none other than you, Link. No way! You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. 
From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Well, that was a lot to take in, but oh my god, this game is amazing. So we got the paraglider, though. Really was not expecting him to be the king of Hyrule. I know that's probably stupid that I wasn't expecting that, but I wasn't. I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't. And I definitely learned my voice for him is not suitable. Because <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up this chest here. Man, it's been a long episode. Common kind of question. Did you make it the entire video? I bet. I don't, I'll be surprised if I see one person say that. <laughs> it's a long video, but... Uh, no, 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 no. Let me... Hold on. How do I change my bows again? Nope, that whistles. I really don't know how to change my bow. But, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This game is amazing, guys. We completed pretty much like the prologue, and now we're going to actually get into the game. We can leave the Great Plateau, head over, and make our way to try to save Hyrule. Be sure to check out my links in the description below, like Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Discord. Join all that stuff. Make sure you follow me. Get involved. And if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the United Family today. But as always, everyone, this is not just a channel. It is a family. And I'll see you in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm out.